Hey guys, let's start today's football news and know what has happened in the past 24 hours. In this video you will know who will coach Germany after Euros. What Simeon said about EPL clubs. Donny Alba's regret of what? Komen's future. Let's quickly learn all of these in this video. Before starting this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Germany have confirmed the appointment of Hansi Flick as their next manager on a deal through to 2024, with the ex-Bayern Munich boss set to succeed World Cup winner Joachim Lowe. An obvious candidate for a demanding role became available when it was revealed that change would also be taking place at the Allianz Arena. With Flick severing ties with Bayern after guiding them to a ninth successive Bundesliga title in 2020-21, Tottenham and Roberto Martinez are continuing talks this week as the search to replace Jose Mourinho progresses. The Spaniard is looking forward to returning to club management after this summer's European Championships. Tottenham's plans for the summer were unchanged by Mourinho's sacking. With the club's recruitment team, headed by chairman Daniel Levy clear about which areas of the field need improving. Real Madrid's Croatian midfielder Luka Modric has ended speculation over his future by agreeing a new one-year deal with the club. He won the 2018 Ballander, becoming the first player other than Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo to claim the award in more than a decade. Modric will captain Croatia at Euro 2020. The Spanish coach is looking to land a first European title for the citizens, and has complete confidence in whoever he calls upon. Pep Guardiola says his Manchester City squad are ready to make history by securing a first Champions League crown, but admits he is yet to settle on a starting 11. The German manager is hopeful the Senegalese shot stopper will be fit in time for the showpiece event in Portugal next weekend. Mendy has established himself recording 20 for clean sheets and 40 for games across all competitions. The 29-year-old started again in Chelsea's final game of the Premier League season against Aston Villa, but had to be withdrawn at halftime with a rib injury leaving Tuckle sweating on his fitness for next weekend's European showpiece. The Atletico Madrid boss Diego Simeon has admitted that Premier League clubs are currently a step ahead of those in La Liga and the rest of Europe's major leagues. Simeon has just guided Atletico to their second La Liga title in the space of seven years. But, they exited the Champions League in the first knockout stage at the hands of Chelsea. Arsenal midfielder Willian is angling for a summer return to Chelsea. The 32-year-old joined the Gunners, but after less than a year in North London Willian now wants to leave. Sky Sports says he is keen on returning to his former club to play under Thomas Tuchel. It's claimed that a number of clubs around Europe want to sign him but Chelsea would be his no-one choice. He is currently under contract with Arsenal until 2023. Barcelona and Brazil legend Dani Alves has revealed his regret at not choosing to join Manchester City and reuniting with Pep Guardiola in 2017. Speaking during a new interview with Sport in Brazil, Dani Alves regrets at not reuniting with him at the Etihad Stadium for years ago. I regret not going to Manchester City to work with Guardiola again, the Brazilian veteran exclaimed. UEFA has opened disciplinary proceedings against Barcelona, Real Madrid and Juventus because of their part in the Super League project while the other nine teams involved in the project have been dealt light punishments. The three holdouts face more severe repercussions. The Spanish and Italian clubs were among the 12 founding members of the competition intended to compete with the Champions League. The Red Devils captain injured ligaments in his ankle and missed the last for league games, and could miss Wednesday's clash with Villarreal. Harry Maguire did not train with his Manchester United teammates ahead of Wednesday's Europa League final against Villarreal but old Gunnar Solskjaer refused to rule him out of the clash. There was hope he could make a recovery for the final. The 54-year-old could be on his way to Lyon. Nice or Napoli after confirming he will walk away from the French champions. Christophe Galtier has announced he will leave Lille just two days after the team were crowned League One champions. Despite their success, coach Galtier has decided to leave the club after spending three years in charge. After a rather underwhelming season winning just one title, all heads turned towards Joan Laporta for a huge decision. Ronald Koeman's continuity next season. Koeman and Laporta met in the Barcelona offices today to discuss the club's future from the sidelines moving forward. But if the report from Helena Condis are to believed, the meeting has ended without a definite conclusion. Argentina could lose out on hosting the Copa America as there's a possibility that it could be moved to the United States. A report on Monday coming out of Colombia that the entire competition could change continents. Per a report by Bloradio Colombia, there has been talk about the tournament. The current COVID situation in Argentina has meant that football matches were suspended last week, and the country itself is in a lockdown. Liverpool may be tempted to make a move for Real Madrid's Gareth Bale after a brilliant end to his loan spell at Tottenham Hotspur. Former Spurs striker Darren Bent has told Talksport. The 31-year-old was reluctant to give too much away when asked about his future following Sunday's to goal. Final day cameo against Leicester City. Real Betis captain Joaquin is set to play La Liga football into his 40 seconds after signing a new one deal. The former Spain winger is the oldest goalscorer in Spain's top flight after finding the net at the age of 39 years, 
seven months and five days. Joaquin, who has also played for Valencia and Malaga, turns 40 in July. Joaquin is second on the all-time list of appearances in La Liga having played 579 games, behind former Barcelona goalkeeper Andoni Zubizarreta, who has 622. The first official product photos of the 2021-2022 Manchester City home shirt set to be released by Puma have been leaked and relayed on Tuesday. The kit, which will mark the 10-year anniversary of the one of the most memorable moments in Premier League history, also features a reference to the exact goal time, as 93. 20 is printed on the inside of the shirt. Manchester City have confirmed the winner of their Player of the Season award, following Sunday night's Premier League trophy celebrations at the Etihad Stadium. The Portuguese international stressed how pleased he was, but did not want to take sole credit for the achievement. For the first time this season, Ruben Dias played in front of an Etihad Stadium crowd on Sunday afternoon when Manchester City lifted the Premier League crown in front of 10,000 supporters. Cristiano Ronaldo says he has achieved what he set out to do with Juventus amid continued doubts about his future. He said, I have to value everything we achieved this season at Juventus, both in collective and individual terms. In an Instagram post, he added, The Italian Super Cup, the Italian Cup and the Serie A top scorer trophy fill me with happiness with these achievements. I reached a goal that I had set myself to win the championship, the Cup and the Super Cup, and also to be best player and top scorer in this great football country. Nothing compares to the feeling of knowing that I've left my mark in the countries where I've played," he added.